let's see going to draw onion rings. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but also a pencil. You also need... Some paper and so many colors. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first use our markers, and we're going to draw the boat or the tray that onion rings usually come in. Yeah. Or sometimes come in. We're going to draw a horizontal line, and I'm going to draw it right here in the middle of the paper and come across like that so that we can draw our order of onion rings really big. Yes. Then we're going to draw two diagonal lines. I'm going to draw one on the left and another one on the right, coming in the same distance. You could even draw it a little bit taller if you want. Maybe just come down a little bit further. And then let's draw the bottom. We'll connect these two diagonal lines with another horizontal line all the way across. And then we can draw the little paper that sometimes is inside also. So I'm going to draw a little paper that comes up and then down. And we can do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm also going to draw a little corner right here in the middle. And then we'll add the red stripes when we're coloring it. Let's move on to drawing the onion rings. And we're going to switch to our pencil. What's the paper for? Uh, I think that's just to line the tray because the onion rings are sometimes very greasy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The reason why we're using the pencil is to draw a guideline or a guide circle for the shape of our first onion ring. And I'm going to draw all the way through the boat. So I'm going to start here and draw an onion ring that is like this. And I'm pressing hard so that the line shows up on our camera, but you guys at home can draw it lightly so it's easier to erase. Now that we have that circle shape, let's switch to our eraser and we're going to erase the line that's inside of the boat or the tray. Now we're ready to switch to our marker and we're going to trace on top of the pencil except we're going to add texture to our onion ring. We're going to draw a bumpy line that follows that pencil line. Yes, just like that. That looks more like an onion ring. They're not smooth, right? Yeah. Now we're going to draw the inside of the ring and we're going to follow, we could draw another guideline with the pencil, but let's just use our eyes and I'm going to draw a bumpy line going this way, going the other way for the inside of our onion ring. Yes, you did it, and I love how thick it is. That's okay that our two drawings look a little different. They're both turning out awesome, because the most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. And if your drawing is looking different too, that's okay. I'm sure they're turning out awesome. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Let's switch to our pencil one more time. We're going to draw another onion ring. This time I'm going to overlap even more. So let's overlap this onion ring. I'm going to draw a circle that's right here about this big, and I'm going to draw even more circles. Since we're repeating the same steps, we're going to add a bunch more circles. Now, if we go too fast, remember you can pause the video and take extra time. That looks really cool, Austin. Awesome. Can I add one more? One more? Now, let's use our eraser and erase all of the guidelines that are inside of the tray. Also, you want to erase any of the guidelines inside of that first onion ring that we drew so that we don't get confused and accidentally draw on in front of that onion ring. Now let's switch to our marker again. I'm going to jump over here and draw this one. So maybe you could do this one too. And let's draw that bumpy line that's on top of the pencil line. We'll just trace over, but add the texture. There you go. Keep going. Yes. Okay, now let's draw the bumpy line inside of our onion ring. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. Let's switch to our pencil or the eraser one more time. And we're going to erase inside of that onion ring that we just drew. Then switch back to our marker. Let's draw the onion ring that's overlapping behind this one. Or let's do this one. So let's do that first step. We're going to draw the texture line that's on top of the pencil. Trace over it. And then when we get to the onion ring right here, we're going to imagine it going behind. 
That's why we erase that pencil line that was inside of there. And then we're going to come down here and keep drawing the onion ring. Now let's come back and we'll draw the inside bumpy line. We're going to imagine it. We'll stop here and then imagine it going behind that first one. Find our thick onion rings. I love it. Sometimes they are that thick. Yeah. And those are my favorite. We're going to keep going through. Oh, I love that you changed it so you didn't have to go through and add that extra line. Okay, now I'm going to come in here. We'll erase this pencil line and erase this pencil line right here too. So this one, and then you don't have one on the other side. We have two more onion rings. Let's add these in. We're going to trace over the pencil line. Imagine it going behind that onion ring. Come over here and then to there. And then I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the inside. And we're going faster because we're just repeating all of those same steps. I'm going to even start on this one over here. <laughs> this one's a little more bumpy. And then the inside. This next part, we're going to fast forward. I'm going to add even more onion rings. You guys could add even more to your drawing, or you could leave it just like this. Yeah. We finished erasing all of the guidelines that you could still see, but we still need to add one more thing to our drawing. What is it missing? A funny face. <laughs> yeah. It's always my favorite thing to add a funny face, especially to food. Yes. All right, should we do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can add any funny face you want to your onion rings. You could even change it so each of the onion rings have a funny face or just add one to the tray. Yeah. I'm going to add the circles for the eyes. What are you going to add to yours? <laughs> You're going to keep it a surprise? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add the little highlights and color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. There we go. Oh, I'm going to add even bigger circles around each eye like this. <laughs> this is going to make my onion rings look like it's cross-eyed. And then I need to add a face, uh, or I mean the mouth. I'm going to draw the mouth like this. <laughs> and then maybe the tongue's even hanging out too. <laughs> and we got to add some teeth. Also, then I'm going to color in the inside of the mouth. Oh, that is the biggest mustache. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video to match your funny faces or really just add any funny face you want. You could add glasses. You could have one eye closing. You could have, oh, the funny faces on each onion ring would be super funny. I love yours so much. Thank you. We did it, us, and we finished drawing our onion rings. We have one more thing to do. We need to color it. Yes. This part will fast forward again, but at the end, you could pause the video to match our same coloring. Or you could color it any way you want. Yes. You ready to fast forward? Let's do it. Austin, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our onion rings. Looks awesome. I especially love all of the funny faces you added. I like the one that's jumping out of yours. Yeah, he's trying to escape. He doesn't want to get eaten. Oh no. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. We used our biannual markers. But you can use colored pencils or crayons. Oh yeah. If you have the same set that we have, we use Y416. This is a darker kind of brown color that we use for the shading. But the main onion ring color is... Y314. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your funny onion rings. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.